Kevin, you didn't fancy going for a traditional run-of-the-mill five-axis machine. Instead, you guys went for a Kern. Why is that? Um, I'd known Arthur for uh, quite a few years, and uh, I'd been interested in the Kern machines. And uh, talking to prospective customers at, at trade shows, I felt there was a need that people were looking for extreme precision. And there was a gap in the market. So. Didn't you even have a buyer come up to you saying, I need somebody that's got a Kern machine in centre to make these parts? He did, he did, yes. And uh, this machine was on offer, so it kind of fitted. And how would you see this ma this machine um, where it sits in the marketplace or when you're looking for precision? Why is that and what does it give you? Well, it gives you, uh, as well as the micron accuracy, it, it gives you the repeatability. So that's that's critical that we can machine 100 parts and they're all going to be within a couple of microns. So is the accuracy the main thing or is there any benefit with the speed of this machine? Is it fast? It is fast, yeah, 42,000 RPM spindle, uh, really good surface finishes because of the hydrostatic uh, guides. Um, so it's very quick, very accurate and very consistent. It's also very quiet. Very quiet, yeah, it's running now. Yeah, I know. And how fast is that spindle running as we speak? Uh, I think that's running at about 30,000 RPM. So what would you be making on here, Kevin? Uh, we, we obviously do a lot of aluminium parts because of, because of the speed. So, uh, But we also do some difficult materials, titanium, uh, sort of nitronics, all sorts really. Uh, we'll have a look at a couple of those in a minute. When you uh, explored the market and you did make this decision to buy this machine, looking back was it right yeah i believe it was right uh, it's definitely brought us some uh, business that we wouldn't have got any other way uh, and the nice thing is that some parts we can we can do the majority of the machining on other machines and do the finishing on here for the accuracy so it complements the business and when we talk about accuracy what what can you achieve what, what in terms of sub micron machining uh well two microns is pretty easy to achieve between five, two and five microns. Um, with some work, I believe you can get lower than that. We haven't needed to at the moment. And I also know that it's not just about the machine, because I visited the AMRC, we went to a micro machining uh, seminar for Kern. Yeah. Do you also engage in the external factors around the machine, so like environmental control, um, tooling, work holding? Yeah, the, uh, the work holding, uh, you pretty much have to buy the right tool holders for the for the curve machine. So the tool holders are tied down to really extreme accuracy. What, what are the tool holders? They're uh, they're SKN forties, um, but you buy them from Kern. They are specific to the Kern, so they control the uh, quality of the tooling. And then we use three R system for, for the repeatability. And then your environment seems pretty stable in here. Fully air conditioned. Uh, workshop so uh, we believe we maintain around about two degree variation all year round. Okay let's have a look at some parts if you could okay. show us one or two. Okay so th this is a, a relatively uh, uh, looks a relatively simple part but there's some really accurate features on there so this is to go into a, a 3D scanning head uh, and again you know it's the consistency that that is machined in one operation and popped out of the billet there's no secondary operation on that. Absolutely. And how quick would you be making a part like that? Uh, the, they're not that fast because of the amount of detail and, and, and the uh, accuracy of it, but we're probably looking at around 40 minutes. Okay, it, lo it looks pretty intricate. Yes, what, is. What, what is the tolerance at, in some of the features? Uh, they're five, five microns we're holding on there, on, on positional. Okay, so perfect for a machine of this nature. Show us, uh, for our viewers, another one here, because you also machine some pretty challenging materials, I believe. Yes, this, the, the, these parts are from 17.4 pH. Um, and although that, again, it doesn't look that challenging, when we made these on other machines, we had blend issues and all that sort of thing. So this part, again, comes off complete, fully deburred, all the edges are deburred, rounded off with small cutters. And it, it just comes off finished. And would you be making those in significant volumes? Uh, we were making those in 200s. Okay, so reasonable. Uh, reasonable, yeah. yeah. Okay, and we've got another. We've got another part there, which again, completely different material. Yep. This well, this is just brass, uh, but we 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 make several of these in out of one billet and push them out again in one hit. Um, 
the interesting part about these parts was that the customer uh, were subcontracted the components but doing a lot of hand finishing to achieve the fit and the tolerance they wanted. Uh, they come off complete. And this one's really interesting, Kevin, because I looked at this and thought this was a turn part. Yep. This, so this component, we, we only had a few of these to do and, it, and the challenge was that um, to clock it up to, to turn, the, turn the eccentric and then to jig it up on a grinder to, to grind the eccentrics and get the tolerance if we wanted it was a bit of a challenge for a five off. But we uh, just held the bar and we machined this complete, circular interplated it, drilled it, thread milled it all the way through and uh, we achieved a five micron tolerance quite easily on the diameters and the roundness value and the position was far better than a ground component. And, and didn't you tell me earlier that you actually looked at what previous ones that have been ground and this was better than those? It, it did appear so, yes. Uh, our, our inspector checked it twice because he, he, he wasn't sure what he was actually seeing. Okay, okay. Pretty impressive. So for you to summarise really where this has taken your business, you've grown substantially in the last few years, Kevin. Yeah. Has this been a, a factor in that? Yes, I believe it has. It's, it's definitely, if I, if I look at the uh, client list that we've got now, it's, it's won us some business. So we've got, we've got customers that we didn't have before, purely and simply because of the accuracy that we can achieve. Brilliant. Thank you, Kevin. Thank you.